Okay, I'm going to quickly demo how to set up your Delaware High School student e-portfolio. Uh, it's pretty simple. You go simply go to sites.google.com or if you go into your Google Apps, you click on Sites and that will take you right there. You click Create to create a new site. Instead of choosing a blank template, you're going to actually choose the uh, e-portfolio template that's set up for you. So uh, right now it's called 2012-13 Delaware e-portfolio template. So you click on Browse Templates and then find it in there. Click Select and you're going to name it. This will actually be your first name and then your last name. So as an example here, I'll do first name, last name, and then click Create at the top. Great, so here we have our, uh, we're looking at our ePortfolio homepage. And you'll notice there's some helpful text on there. One is uh, this current page is called Your Name Goes Here. You, of course, don't want to call that. So you're going to click on Edit, this Edit Pencil to edit the page. And instead of Your Name Goes Here, you're going to put in your actual name. So again, in my example, I'll use first name, last name. But you will use, of course, your name. Don't call your site first name, last name. And then over here, uh, we can insert a calendar. So where it says delete all this text and insert your calendar, we're going to do exactly that. So we'll delete the text. We'll go over to insert and we'll choose calendar. And you'll have a default calendar that's set up for you with uh, that's associated with your account. And you can just select that calendar and add that right to your home page. The height, 600 pixels is fine. The width, we're going to leave that blank so it fills that whole space. Uh, you can choose how to show it here, so different options on how you're going to show it. Include title if you want. In this case, I'm not going to show the title. I'll click Save, and then if I click Save to save this page, you'll now see that we've got that calendar added right there. Uh, to add an event to that calendar, which you'll want to do for your ePortfolio, you'll actually just open up a new tab, go into your calendar app, so once you pull up your calendar app, you'll see uh, it'll be displayed either as a monthly calendar like this or a weekly calendar, or you can even look at it as an agenda. Um, but if it's on a weekly calendar, it's simple to add, all of them are simple to add events. You can either just click in that space. So let's say uh, tomorrow I have a you know paper due in my cardio health class. I can just click and drag and create an event. I have my, you know wellness essay do in cardio health and I can create that event and that shows up there now the beauty of this is this this calendar app when I go back to my website now that I've added my calendar to the website there and I refresh this page that event shows up right there and I can click on the event I can see the details of it uh, right there so you're gonna have uh, a calendar showed on your home page and you're going to add one event to that calendar through your calendar app. Finally, on your home page, you want to you want to check the sharing options. So this big blue button in the upper right hand corner, if you hover over it, it'll show you that this is shared with the student body. Uh, what that means is that students in the district will be able to see your site, but we need but teachers won't. Teachers have a different account. So you're going to actually click on that sharing option. You're going to change this to anyone with the link and then go ahead and click save. Now you'll see if you go back to your home page once it updates here that this share button looks differently. You hover over it, it's shared with anyone with the link. You can now send this URL that's you know it'll say google.com slash your you know district site and then it'll be your your uh, website there. You can send that URL to anyone you want and they'll be able to access your site. That's the URL you're going to submit to your teacher uh, so that she or he is able to view your site.